Hi guys, it's Kevin from Sailing Kestrel Adventures here. Um, I apologise in advance for my um, throat. Uh, it's not very good today, so my voice is a bit dodgy. Anyway, I'm going to do my best. Um, but what I want to talk to you about today is a little program that we've been using since we started making the vlogs. Um, people have asked us in the past how we generate our animated routes. And today I wanted to show you how we do that. So, first of all, let me show you one that we did earlier. I blew Peter this. This is a route we generated a couple of years ago. Quick, simple and efficient. And that's created on um, Google Earth. But how did we do it? Well, we used a program called Route Generator. A route Generator is only a small program, but it's quick, simple and easy to use. But you'll first of all have to download that. So if you go to your browser, open your browser, type in root generator. We've already got it there, so I'll use that. Scroll down to the root generator page and open it. Now the website's not very big, but if you want to read as to what the program does, then feel free. But what we're interested in is the download. So if we go up to the left hand corner, and click on download. That gives us the download page. And on here are a couple of different options. We've got root generator 1.8, which is for Windows 7, 8, and 10. And then a bit further down, we've got the latest one, which is 1.9. Now, we even don't use these two, we use 1.7. So if you want to download that, you click on the link, download the program, and of course, then you need to go and open it. So if you open Root Generator again, once you've installed it, you have a blank screen and the interface is quite easy. So let's start at the beginning and go up to Open Background Image. Now of course at the moment we don't have a background image. The second option you can go to is Google and that is importing a Google Map. Now we never use this and the simple reason for that is it's useless. But of course, to open a map, you have to have a map. So if we come off generator for a moment, we now have to decide how we're going to download that map. Now, we use Google Earth. You can use Google Maps, or you could even use Navionics, or any other map that you wish to. Google Earth for us gives us plenty of detail. So if we go to Google Earth, Scroll down to the area of the map that we want to download. And let's say we are going to, we're going to create a map or create a route from Naxos up here to Hora or Chora down here. Center that map. And now we need to download that map. And what we use is a snipping tool. Once you've got the snipping tool ready, click on New. Highlight the area of the map that you want to download. And save. Now we'll save that as a JPEG. Call it whatever you wish, Naxos maybe. And save that. I'm saving it to the desktop because basically it's easy to find. You can save it to any folder you wish. So once you've done that, come off that and go back onto Root Generator. Now as we said before, on the top taskbar you've got Open Background Image. So now we've got an image, we can open that. Go to Naxos and open. So now we've got the map that we want to create the route onto. So how do we do that? Again, go to the taskbar across the top. As far as activate route or draw mode. Left click and that will give you a crosshair. Now you need to go to the area or the place that you're starting your route. And left click. Now for every left click you make, you will create a waypoint. 
So this is where you can create whichever route you want along whatever path you want. So make as many waypoints as you wish following the route that you took. Right down to the finish. Now once you've got to the finish, what you need to do is make sure that it looks right. So if we go up to the taskbar again and along to where it says playback, click on the playback and it'll play you the route that you've just created. Now you might be happy with that, which is fine. But for now, we can look at some options. The first option is the colour of the route. So if we go down to the colour palette, you can choose any colour you wish and that will change that particular root colour. If you go to this option here, select the line style. We could have a dotted root. Dot, dash, or dash, dot, dot, dash, dot, dot, dash. We choose to just have a line. If we go along a little bit further, you can modify that line to whichever size you wish. So we think two is good because it looks good on the on the map. Now if we go along to the vehicle that you wanted to use, we use a sailboat, but you could use a train or a truck or a smiley face or a hitchhiker, whichever you wish. If you go along a bit further, you come to the vehicle settings. Now this is where you can choose your vehicle, but you could also change your vehicle. You can change the size of it, the angle of it, or you could mirror that image. So let's just say we wanted to use a smiley face. We could increase the size of the smiley face or the size of that smiley face. But once you're happy with what you've chosen, again, play it to see what it looks like. Okay, now there is another option in tools, and that option is to download your own vehicle. But of course, you've got to have a vehicle to download. Let's have a go at it anyway. So we'll add a vehicle. Down to the folder that you're holding all the vehicles in. Choose your vehicle. We'll use a shopping trolley this time and open. If you go to the bottom, you'll now see a shopping trolley. Click on that shopping trolley, resize, press OK, and all of a sudden we've got a shopping trolley instead of a boat or a smiley face. So whichever you choose, like I say, we use a sailboat because that's what we are. Okay, so now you've created that route, you need to save that route as a video file. To do that, you have to go along the taskbar to generate route. Left click. Now you can save this to whatever folder you wish. You may need to create a new folder because it does have to go in there because there are a lot of files. So we've created one called new. Click on that. Now it says here that the folder isn't empty because there are existing files. So I'll click yes, delete the existing files. And we'll click on generate file. Okay, so that should now have downloaded it into the folder and we put on the desktop. And basically it's as simple as that. That is your route created. But if you go onto the desktop, into the folder you curated, scroll to the bottom, and you'll see a video file called out. That is the file that you have just created. And there you go. That's your route created in a video file that you can enter into your vlog at whatever point you wish. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this little walkthrough. 
What I'd like to ask is if you could either subscribe or give us a thumbs up to this video if you like it. If there is anything I've missed, please let me know. But for now, that's it. Thank you for watching and good night.